Anthony Padilla is quitting Smosh. No, say it isn't so. This is heartbreaking. Smosh was the first channel I watched on YouTube. Sadly, it's true. On Wednesday, Anthony took to Twitter where he posted a link to a video and said, as of today, I am no longer part of Smosh. I hope this video shows you why I feel this is the best decision for me. Ian and Anthony created this channel 12 years ago when they were just teens in Sacramento. Anthony is leaving because he wanted to venture out on his own and about this new chapter, he says. I am so sad to see this chapter of my life come to a close, but I will continue to support Ian and wish nothing but the best for him and the brand we created together. As I begin this adventure, I am excited to return to a feeling that I felt many years ago, a rush of adrenaline following a new and exciting idea. As scary as this is, I am excited because I know that no matter what happens, I am following what's true to me and what I am passionate about. I hope to see you all on my journey. Anthony made it clear in the video that he posted that this has nothing to do with Ian. A lot of people are speculating that they had a fight, but that's not the case and these two are still close friends. Smosh also posted a video on their channel titled Anthony is leaving and in it Anthony and Ian confirmed that they are still friends and that Anthony just felt like this is something he had to do. These two should be extremely proud of themselves. They went from two teenage best friends posting hilarious content to billion dollar business owners. And Anthony will still be posting content on his channel so it's not like he's leaving YouTube altogether. As sad as this is, it's completely understandable and all of us here wish Anthony and Smosh all the best in the future. Hey everyone and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. TGIF the weekend is here. Now, originally I wasn't looking forward to this weekend because I was supposed to have my wisdom teeth taken out, but now the appointment has been postponed to September, so now I can enjoy my weekend. I'll also be documenting this journey on my personal YouTube channel, Court McGinley Vlogs, so make sure if you haven't subscribed yet, then you head on over there and subscribe and become a member of the family. Yeah, you know, you definitely don't want to miss out on all of the gory, horrendous pain I'm going to be in. I'll also on a happier note, just a reminder, this Sunday is Father's Day. So for those of you who forgot, you still have time to get a card or a gift. Yeah. You're welcome. All right, as always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way, so let's get right into it. Next, it's been reported that Ariana Grande will be the first ever honorary citizen of Manchester. After the terrorist attack, Ariana Grande went above and beyond and organized a benefit concert to help the families of the victims. And this did not go unnoticed. The Manchester City Council made a formal announcement this week where they announced that Ariana will be the recipient of the city's first ever honorary citizenship title. This is their way of showing their appreciation and recognizing her for her response following the May 22nd bombing after her Dangerous Woman show at the Manchester Arena that ended up taking 22 lives and injuring more than 100 people. The benefit concert took place on June 4th and ended up raising an estimated $3.5 million for the We Love Manchester Emergency Fund, which goes to the victims' families, as well as some of the proceeds going to the British Red Cross. Congratulations to Ariana for getting this honour. Next, as you guys may have heard, earlier this week a massive fire broke out at a high rise apartment building in West London. The fire started on the second floor and rose all the way to the top, and sadly the death toll continues to rise. At the time of this recording, there has been a confirmed total of 30 people who have been killed. And sadly, it's expected to rise even higher and could possibly rise above 100 casualties according to police. Emergency services are still going through the blocks of charred remains in search for more bodies. At this time, more than 70 people are still unaccounted for since the fire. Police have also reported that some of the victims may have been injured or burnt beyond identification. At this time, 24 people remain in the hospital. 12 of whom are in critical care. Today the Queen and Prince William visited the rest center to speak to the people affected by the fire. Our thoughts go to the families affected. Next, Kim Kardashian is coming out with her own makeup line. I mean, it was only a matter of time. I know half of you are freaking out due to how excited you are, and the rest of you just don't care because you dislike her so much. Let me know down in the comments which side you are on. Just months after teaming up with her little sister Kylie for KKW times Kylie, Kim has decided to make a bold move and make her own beauty line. And according to her Instagram, it looks like it'll be launching on June 21st. So that's this Wednesday and they're starting off with a contour kit. Kim says she changes up her looks so often, but one thing that is consistent is contour. This cream contour will come with a dual ended brush and a highlighter kit. I have a feeling these will sell out in seconds just like Kylie's products. Next, Selena Gomez is back at the Disney Studios and it's for a very exciting reason. She is voice recording for Hotel Transylvania 3. I'm not gonna lie, I love Hotel Transylvania. The first two movies were so cute and so funny and I bet this one's gonna be just as good. Selena released this exciting news by going on her Snapchat and recording some videos of her in the studio with a cardboard cutout of Mavis in the background. Then in one of the videos she says, It's crazy that I recorded the first Hotel Transylvania in 2012 and I just finished the third one now. Honestly, I'm hoping it comes out this October. Here's a clip of her snap. Yeah, they're in the green room.
For those who didn't get that, recording Hotel Transylvania. My voice is sounding older. That's a good thing. Next, speaking of movies, it's that time of the week where I let you guys know it's super cool, awesome movies are hitting box office this weekend. And we have Cars 3, Rough Night, and All Eyes on Me. Let's start off with Cars 3. This movie's rated G and it's a family movie. In this movie, you will hear the voices of Owen Wilson, Cristela Alonso, Army Hammer, Larry the Cable Guy, Bonnie Hunt, and Michael Wallace, among others. Blindsided by the new generation of blazing fast cars, the legendary Lightning McQueen is suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back in the game, he will need the help of an eager young racer technician, Cruz Ramirez, who has her own plans on winning. Take a look. You'll never be as fast as Storm, but you can be smarter than him. The racing is the reward, not the stuff. Storm's chances of winning are 95.2%. We have Rough Night. This movie is rated 14A and it's a comedy. In this movie, we have Scarlett Johansson, Kate McKinnon, Jillian Bell, Elana Glazer, and Zoe Kravitz, among others. In this movie, we follow five best friends from college who reunite 10 years later for a wild bachelorette weekend in Miami. Their hard partying takes a hideous dark turn when they accidentally kill a male stripper. Amidst the craziness of trying to cover it up, they're ultimately brought closer together when it matters most. And finally, we have All Eyes on Me. It's rated 14A as well and it's a drama. This intimate cast includes Demetrius Ship Jr., Danae Guerrera, Jamal Willard, Corey Hardrick, Kat Graham, Annie Lai Ozard, and Dominic L. Santana. This movie chronicles the life and legacy of Tupac Shakur. It includes his rise to stardom as a hip hop artist, actor, poet, and activist, as well as his imprisonment and controversial time at Death Row Records. Well, there you have it. That's all the stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.